someone came to the Chafetz Chaim and asked him, um, Rabbi, is there a ticket to Gan Eden? Is there like a ticket? Is there like something that someone can do and get a ticket to Gan Eden? And Chafetz Chaim looked at him and said, in fact, there is, yeah, yeah there is one. <laughs> so the guy got excited and he said, well, Rabbi, please tell me what? He says to be happy with the exact place that you're in all of your life and you'll get to Gan Eden. He says, what does it mean? He says, sometimes you have a situation where it's fantastic. Panasa is coming, Shiduch is coming, kids are coming, everything is coming. But sometimes we have a nature to want more. Mistake. Be happy with what you have. He says, oh, okay, so that's easy enough. So, yeah, but is the opposite. It was the difficult part. The difficult part is sometimes the opposite happens. No shiduch, no kids chas v'shalom, no parnasah chas v'shalom, no health chas v'shalom. So the guy looks at have to be happy there? He goes, exactly. Because the Gemara in Masechet Brachot says that you have to bless a Kadosh Baruch Hu on tova v'ra the same way, on good and bad the same way. Just like if you won the lotto, you bless Hashem, you have to bless Hashem as if you just lost the lotto. Why? Because that is what an understanding that a person has that everything is from Hashem. Everything. The difficulty is from Hashem. The good is from Hashem. And why is this so critical? Because if a person arrives at this conclusion that everything is from Hashem, then he knows that everything is what Hashem decided for that person for their own benefit out of all of the choices that are available to them at that point. Now, you may say, wait a minute, why can't he just give me money? Well, that wasn't a choice that was available to you at that point. Well, why can't I have... Well, well, Hashem has his own accounting of why that choice is not available to you at that point. It may be available to you in the past. It may be available to you in the future. But today that you didn't get the money, today that you didn't get the shidduch, today that you didn't get whatever it is that you wanted to get, that's because that choice was not available to you. Out of all of the choices that Hashem decided are available to you based on your actions now a person can say wait but i you know i had a contract i was going to go sign the deal i was on the way to sign the deal for a million dollars it was going to fix my financial worries it was going to fix this it was going to fix that but on the way i got a flat tire and i lost the deal why didn't Hashem just you know let this tire work because Hashem did not want you to sign the deal Hashem did not want you to make the million dollars why it could be countless reasons. Number one, it could be that that client is litigious and that million dollars was fake money where he would, you would have made a million dollars but he would have sued you for 10 shortly after because he's just a litigious person. Or it could be that it was completely fraud. Or it could be that uh, you weren't even going to make it to the meeting because had you not gotten a flat tire, you would have gotten to a car accident and would have killed yourself because somebody else was drunk driving ahead of you, but you just don't know this part. See, the key is to understand when we appreciate and thank Hashem for everything, that's because we know that He sees the entire picture and we only see what's in front of us. So by saying thank you, Hashem, for whatever circumstance I have, in essence, what we're saying is that, Hashem, I don't see what you see. I don't know what you know. But surely I know that as my Father in Heaven, you have my best interest in mind with whatever you're giving me. And for that, I thank you. And for that, I'm happy with it. So if a person does not see that the things that they want are being given to them by Hashem, it doesn't necessarily mean that the person is being punished. Trust me, there's a much, much better place that Hashem has designated for punishment, and it's not in this world. You know, so it's not necessarily a punishment. It's not necessarily a reward either. But nonetheless, it is Hashem that is doing it, and it is the best out of all of the choices that you have available to you at that moment. Now, the choices that you want may be available to you in the future. You may be able to pray and do good things and improve the choices that are available to you in the future. But today, you are obligated to be happy with whatever you have. And that's the test. The test is to be happy with exactly what you have, just like the Mishnah says in Pirkei Avot, Who is rich, who is wealthy? Someone who is happy with a share. 
wealth is not defined by dollar amount, but rather defined by the person's understanding of what they have. That's the test. That's your test. That's her test. That's her test. That's his test. That's everybody's test. Being happy with exactly what we have because we know that our Father in Heaven loves us more than we love ourselves, and He surely wants the best thing for us. We just have to pass the test and thank Him for it, and we'll see that in the end, as things progress, His decision was a whole lot better than the decision we wanted because we, were with, we had our limited view. Trust Hashem, and you'll never ever lose. As it says, Someone that has confidence in Hashem, only kindness will surround them. Sometimes that kindness is a broken leg. Sometimes that kindness is a flat tire. Sometimes that kindness is loss of money. And the reason is because those pains are much, much better than the other bad choices that are available to us. And surely Hashem does not want to give us those other horrible choices. He wants to give us more time to do tshuva. He wants to give us more time to do other things. So he gives us something that's available to us that may be painful. But surely the pain of the needle that has medicine is much, much better than the alternative. We just have to have bitachon Hashem. We just have to have confidence in Hashem that he is making the best choice for us. Not for himself, for us. And when we pass that test, only kindness surrounds us. Bezat Hashem, this helps you and others learn what Hashem wants from us, learn how we should thank Hashem a million and a half times for what He's giving us and pass our test so we do end up getting many, many more things than what we could even imagine we actually deserve in the first place.